What's up guys, today on Fishy Talks, we're gonna be hopping right back into the wonderful world of Rainbow Six Siege. And in specific, we're gonna be talking about the Glass Buff because I think it needs some love and some attention because it is getting shredded right now. For those of you that don't know yet, Glass was recently given a thermal scope that can see through open air, clear glass windows like the ones on Banker Plane. It can also see through smoke grenades as well as Capitao's small smoke and smokes gas canisters so yeah obviously like most changes this one has gotten shredded by the community so today i just wanted to throw out my opinion um after playing tons of time as glass against glass so yeah let's without further ado let's just hop right into the video so first of all i really gotta say i gotta commend ubisoft on this one for not giving glass the ability to see through mirror walls like they were going to because that was going to be nuts that was going to be crazy op and make Mira an almost entirely useless operator with the Glazit play. And I mean, you guys have seen the pick numbers. They went up significantly for Glaz. I mean, he's pretty much on every attacking team, whether they're playing casual, ranked, or at a pro level. So I do think that the thermal scope was a little bit forced, but I can respect the logic behind giving Glaz a buff. Now, I don't necessarily agree with the thermal scope, but I mean, the idea here is that they get you know every operator's pick percentage up by giving them different buffs and doing all that kind of stuff and by the end you know once it's all smoothed out the game has been out for a while and everyone's been patched you know the eventual goal is that every operator is pickable in their own specific way for specific reasons when looking at glass's new ability and giving it some analysis i'm going to divide it into two sections just to make it easier to go over and the first one is going to be ease of play and it's pretty self-explanatory, but Glass is a sniper. You know, his job is to overlook in an area and get kills from a long distance. So the thermal site obviously making that easier. So that's going to be the ease of play section. And then the second section is going to be a potential strategy. And those are little things like the, for just as an example, like the smoke strat that Glass uses now where he can just pop a smoke and stand in it and see through the smoke when, you know, you can't see him. Um, just those little things like that. Those are gonna be the two sections of play uh, that I'm gonna use to describe and you know anal give analysis, I guess, over his new patch. Let's first look at the ease of play group. And specifically, we're gonna be looking at the bank example, right? Um, let's specifically look at the Teller's Archives bomb site, right? So before, Glass was relatively useful um, on this bomb site specifically because he could sit out on the parking garage roof and give uh, teammates overwatch into the building. And now with his new thermal scope, it literally makes a job like this almost entirely idiot proof because it's pretty hard to miss a massive yellow blob like sliding across your screen and whatnot. And I gotta say, it's really lowering the skill ceiling because now just some random pleb can just sit out there and do your job. You know, what really defined a good glass before was the ability to pick out a target from the background and, you know, quickly and efficiently kill him before he killed your teammates. Now you can literally just sit there scanning around. Oh, yellow, boom, 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 shoot, dead. And I don't know. To me, it just, you know, seems a little bit forced. In my opinion, it's giving a situational operator a way too useful skill just to get his pick percentages up on the rest of the maps in the game. Now let's hop into the second group. The big, big buzzing question. Potential strategy with Glass and it being OP, right? So obviously the main example here is this the smoke strat with Glass, right? Whether it's popping a smoke on your feet so you can see out and people can't see in, or maybe you're smoking up a window um, or a door and using that smoke to just cover yourself, but be able to see the enemies. It's pretty annoying to play against, but the question is, is it overpowered? Now I spent a lot of time thinking about this and I finally came to the conclusion that it's not Glass's new ability that's overpowered, it's his utility that makes it overpowered. Glass's new ability may be a noob friendly pick patter, but I don't really think that it's necessarily OP. Obviously, like I said before, I think it's a forced change just to kind of, you know, like I said, get his pick percentages padded, get them up, do whatever. But at the end of the day, what makes it really overpowered is the fact that he can drop like 20 smokes at his feet using not only his, but his teammates and blah, blah, blah. And it makes it really annoying. They can sit there for almost the entire round. The smokes last forever. And it can just be really, really annoying to be on the other side. 
And so in order to combat this, you know, the idea that I was thinking was to remove Glaz's smokes, right? Because he starts with three and that alone is a huge amount of time to sit there and overwatch a site or do whatever, right? But now if you take his smokes away from him, he can no longer just roam on his own and just get crazy kills doing some stupid strat. Now he's actually required to have teammates smoke for him and have his teammates play around him. So in casual games and ranked games, it'll make Glass a lot less overpowered and a lot less used. And and obviously in the pro scene, same thing, like right, Glass can just run off on his own and get crazy kills using the stupid smoke strat. But now it really requires the rest of the team to kind of come around Glass and come up with strats to make glass useful um it'll obviously still be very very useful you can still do it but it'll make it a lot harder and a lot more you know teamwork to get to that point and in that way it'll make it a lot less annoying and a lot less common at the end of the day like i said i think this change was very forced and annoying yes but you know eventually people will learn to counter it and almost negate his scope so as of right now, even though it may feel OP, may be annoying, you know, little changes that I think Ubisoft will eventually make um, or changes that the community makes in terms of the meta, I think will, you know, you know, lower his pick percentages, even him out amongst the field. So even though it seems, you know, really forced, um, at times OP, annoying, I think that eventually it can turn into a good thing. Whether it will or not, you know, only time will tell. So there it is, guys. My view on the glass changes. Thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, it's been your boy Fish. Hit that sub button, join the Fish fam today. Check out my social media in the description down below and see you guys on the other side.